My latest book, my fifth book, is Into the Dark, How the Dead Help Us Heal. You might notice my daughter on the cover here got a little bigger since the cover of Don't Kiss Them Goodbye, but I titled Into the Dark uh, what I titled it because this book is about going on the other side of the veil, which is actually the light. The dark is where the grieving are. So the dark is where we are. So this book actually takes a good look on how to heal wounds between the living and the dead, even after somebody dies, how you can resolve issues that you had with one another. It takes a look at different types of readings that I've done, but most importantly, I, I wrote this book for people who are grieving and going through the day-to-day -day pain of losing somebody so that this can help you to move through the grief a little more smooth and um, understand how to reconnect with the other side. Uh, they usually have five steps of grieving. I have six. The sixth step of grieving is reconnection. So my book is written to teach you how to reconnect with people that you've loved and lost. Uh, this book is just kind of everything I've ever learned I put into this, into this book. So if any of what I've spoken of appeals to you, um, I'd look into Into the Dark. It also has a chapter on pets. I went in depth on pets and when you lose them and how it affects living pets that you get later or that remain after the other pet dies. So I go into a little of everything, but I also wrote a chapter on the lighter side of readings because I think it's important that people understand that when the dead come through, they can be kind of funny. So I included a chapter that's got like the lighter side of readings. It includes the humor of the deceased or happy coincidences, as we call them, that happen after somebody dies, like when a baby's born on the anniversary of the death of that person. It's the, de it's the dead's way of saying, I sent you a piece of my heart. I sent a piece of me back to you. So it does talk about that. It also talks about people who lose children who don't make it to birth or are only alive for maybe hours and how those souls recycle back into our family and how not to look at them as being denied life because the souls find a way into our families. So this is for people who have suffered miscarriages or a premature loss and so that they can move through life better and lighter. And it's about creating versions of your heaven while you're alive. It's the things that we're doing now that we replay once we pass. So sometimes when you wonder what your husband's doing after he dies, he's marrying you again, or he's holding the baby that you just had. So the moments that we have in life are most of what we relive in death. So make sure you have enough of those good times stored away so when you pass, you have like a library full of good times to go back to. And um, Into the Dark is a good book for anybody just looking to answer questions about life after death and healing.